Well, we had some showers around early this morning that we got a break in the action, some dry time, actually a good time to get out and do some walking and walk those dogs. But now we've got another wave of showers making their way into the area and it looks like it will be sticking around for much of the night. So we are looking at a soggy Tuesday evening temperatures around 51 degrees this hour. We're going to stay in the 50s overnight tonight, so we're in the warm sector of this storm and we're going to stay mild overnight and then we'll pretty much moderate. We'll even out as we get into tomorrow afternoon staying in the 50s, but we are looking at some soggy weather. Their humidity is up there at 96%. The dew point is up there as well at 50. It's been so dry lately and the winds are out of the east southeast at eight miles an hour. Still a chance for maybe a gusty wind up to 25, 29 miles an hour, but it looks like most of the area will see those winds pretty much kind of die down and uh, be pretty calm for the next several hours. But we are looking at some yellow pockets of rain now making its way into the area. So as we zoom in, you can see where that is. So just expect uh, some heavier waves of rain, and that's what we're seeing just to the south of Fowler, around Pine Village, stretching down to the northeast, northwest of Attica, even down through Frankfurt there. So uh, this is all tracking off to the east, northeast. We've got more moisture and energy to the south of us across the Tennessee Valley, severe weather down across Mississippi, moving into Alabama now with tornado warnings there. So a lot of moisture, a lot of energy with this system as it still tracks up to the north across our area. So we're going to be under that for quite some time overnight into tomorrow. Now tomorrow late in the day, let's say noontime through early afternoon Wednesday is the best chance where we could have an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm. And what that means is possibly some damaging winds, large hail, just a very small chance of an isolated tornado, but we could have some very strong gusty winds. And that is why the National Weather Service put this section, the eastern portion now under a slight two that is level two out of five a chance of seeing maybe a strong thunderstorm move through here as a cold front begins to work its way this way this is going to be all ahead of that cold front so overnight tonight we're looking at 10 30 here lots of yellow even some orange there of some heavier showers and then possibly by 4 a.m maybe a couple rumbles of thunder a better chance though as we get into later in the day 7 30 a.m uh, the commute we're still going to have some scattered showers around the area then we'll see a little bit more of instant stability uh, ahead of the cold front. So that's where we could see these individual cells pop up uh, throughout the afternoon. We'll just have to stay weather aware for that. And you can see how uh, sporadic it is. Once that cold front moves through, then that threat of severe weather is over. That will be tomorrow night and then rain showers lingering into our Thursday. And then that cooler air moves in here. Rainfall amounts we're still looking at basically one and a half inches of rain once we get into Saturday. So once this storm system moves out of here, that's what we're looking at for uh, as far as rainfall total. So maybe some minor flooding, especially in those low lying areas. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Then for tomorrow, we're looking at 58 degrees, cloudy chance for some showers and thunderstorms. And then for Thursday, cooling off 48 degrees, lingering rain showers, drier on Friday, Saturday morning, a little clipper type system is going to push through the upper Great Lakes that could give us a chance chance for maybe some snow flurry activity, a wintry mix. Very slight chance at this point, but it will be cold. 45 Saturday at night in